The Covered Wagon was the first real big-budget Western epic. Released by Paramount Pictures, it was directed by James Cruz and based on a novel by Emerson Howe. It takes place in 1848, where two wagon trains set out for Oregon. But this epic tale serves as the backdrop for a contrived and predictable romantic love triangle involving the daughter of the first group's leader, played by Lewis Wilson, who is in love with the young leader of the second wagon train, played by J. Warren Kerrigan, but she is also pursued by her father's lieutenant, played by Alan Hamm. James Crew's direction is somewhat limited. The wide shots are often oddly framed, and the editing is inconsistent, with some shots being cut way too soon and others lingering just a little too long. It's an old school Hollywood epic in every sense. There are hundreds of horses and covered wagons, thousands of extras, and an awful lot of location shooting. It's not a great western, or even necessarily a good one, but it is an important and influential entry in the genre, nonetheless. Other western epics, like John Ford's The Iron Horse, would be made in the intervening years.